Hi guys, it's Lindsay here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building a, another family home, and this time I am building it here in the world of Windenburg. And it's just going to be a three bedroom and three bathroom house in this Tudor style. I saw an image on Pinterest that I thought would be fun to sort of recreate in The Sims. So I'll put it up on screen so you guys can see what I was looking at. And yeah, it was just kind of like a little model build of home, which I've been looking at a lot recently. I think little models are pretty inspirational for building in The Sims. But I think my biggest inspiration over the past year has been like paintings and illustrations, especially paintings, something about them like especially with CC. <laughs> like, I just like want to build uh, things based on paintings or inspired by them. So I have a lot saved on my Pinterest page. But um, yeah, I think this house came together really nicely. I think it's super cute. I used lots of like brown colors. I wanted it to feel really cozy. It's not too cluttered, but I think it feels fully decorated and like a nice family lives here. And I really liked using that arch, by the way, that I used on that stone wall. It's not the same like texture at all. It's a brick texture, like a gray brick. And it came with the, what was that pack where we got werewolves? I'm forgetting the name of it at the moment, but it came with that pack and I thought it looked so cool there because it kind of looks like the wall is broken and they kind of made do and turned it into an arch somehow or I don't know maybe it was on purpose I'm not exactly sure but I really like the way it looked I thought it was pretty cool um yeah and I'm building in the old town part of Windenburg and I've built on this lot before and I remember the lighting being better so you'll notice I'm building in like the dusk sort of time of day and that was the best lighting I could find in build mode Anyways, in when I was in live mode and like finding the time of day to take screenshots, that was a lot easier. But for some reason in build mode, the lighting was like way off. And so this was like the best lighting I could get at the front of the build to see what I was doing. But unfortunately, because it's such like a orangey kind of glow to the light, it's pretty, but it was making some of the colors off. And so I thought I was using brown and then I was using black and I, like browns were looking black anyways. And yeah. I don't know and some of the browns that were not the same brown were looking like they were the same it was just kind of a pain um but i think i made it work and i ended up kind of having a combination between uh browns and blacks and yeah i really like the combination of wallpapers too these tudor wallpapers i think went really nicely with this stone wallpaper um, I thought that worked nicely and I like this patio area that I created I think that's super cute and then there's a few activities outdoors as well and everything um something i kind of struggled with though is one of the tudor wallpapers automatically places the like the timber frame depending on the shape of the building rather than like it always being the same if you guys get what i mean and i used it in a few different places and it ended up changing on me and it's frustrating because i don't know exactly how it works and how it's automatically placed and so i don't know how to build something to make it look the way I want it to, if you guys get what I mean. See how the roof line, the Tudor is off centered <laughs> in that one piece. Yeah, it's that that swatch. In, in certain areas, it looks good. And sometimes only for a short period of time and then you change something and you can never get it back. <laughs> so it's very bizarre in my opinion, but I think I made it work. I used pretty much like all of the different Tudor wallpapers and the different patterns and just kind of put them in different combinations to look look interesting and nice in my opinion. Um, and then here I'm just finding a stone. I was trying to use a different stone, but this is always my go-to for this part of Windenburg just because the color of it is so similar to the surrounding stone. We have a, like a floor paint texture that's similar in pattern, but when you paint it next to um, this floor tile, it never like look seamless or matches up properly but this base game one I think actually works pretty well even though it's not the same pattern the color is similar enough that if you're not paying attention you could think it's the same and then I also create a little driveway area which I thought was pretty cute and then in the side yard I have a toddler slide a swing and I think I get some planter boxes a little barbecue area and I think that's it 
we'll see. I don't know. It's been a few days now since I have recorded this because I haven't got the chance to do a voiceover for it. My mom did come to visit, which was super awesome because she had not met my daughter yet. So my mom got to meet her granddaughter for the first time and of course spend time with my son. And she has, we've seen them. We went up to visit them like, mm, I think over the springtime, but she hasn't been to visit us in like a year because her life has been chaotic and crazy and everything so she hasn't been able to make it over but I'm so happy she finally did it was so wonderful and yeah so we've been busy doing that just like the past like four or so days so yeah super awesome had to share with you guys um but anyways I really liked the yellow flowers on the um the window boxes I thought they looked so pretty and so I tried to incorporate a little bit of yellow on the interior not a lot it's pretty subtle I think um, but I thought that was kind of nice and kind of a different color that I don't normally go towards because I use lots of like different shades of browns, some black sometimes, of course, like whites and neutral colors like that. But I always go, go towards like green and brown or greens and blues rather when I'm picking out like my pops of color and yeah yellow I thought was kind of a fun difference I mean there's not like a whole lot of yellow like I said it is mostly brown in this interior but I thought it was kind of fun um here I'm messing with the roof line and making sure all of the walls are painted because some of the walls were hidden by a roof so I didn't get paint on them right away and then yeah I think I made the roof work really nicely uh thankfully we can separate them into pieces and then drag the edges. This was not always the case. I remember when I first started building in The Sims 4, you could not drag the edges. And so pretty much no matter what you did, if you had like roof in like a particular way, it was gonna clip into the sides of a wall. And it was, it was kind of frustrating to get it to look the way you wanted to. But ever since that update, it's been a long time now. It's been like years since that update, but it's one of my favorite ones because it's so handy and it makes homes like this look so much better. Um, but here I'm moving on to the interior. The interior ended up actually coming together pretty nicely. I had to move these windows, unfortunately. I mean, I probably could have put the fireplace in a different location, but it just felt like the perfect spot for it. And I don't know. I liked the windows so much where they were before. They like fit perfectly in between the um, timber frames of the Tudor, but I don't know. I didn't mind moving them. I still think it looks really good. But this home ends up having a pretty large living room, a very small downstairs bathroom, um, a home office downstairs off the living room. There's also like a piano area, um, a dining room, and a kitchen. So it's got a lot of space. <laughs> There's lots of different um, areas downstairs. And then the upstairs are the bedrooms and a couple of the bathrooms. But the downstairs bathroom is just like a powder room. I was doing the floor plan and then I realized I didn't have one. And so I just quickly tucked one by the stairs and it worked out pretty nicely. I think it's just like a tiny little bathroom um, but here I'm working on the floor plan on the second floor this was a little bit trickier just because I wanted to fit a shared bathroom for the kids I wanted to have two kids rooms and I wanted to have a master suite with its own ensuite that was pretty easy but fitting these kids rooms over here was a little bit trickier with the bathroom but I think um, I made it work without it feeling too awkward or cramped or anything and for the kids rooms I decided to do a teens room and a toddlers room and yeah, the toddler's room is super cute, I think. But the teen's room, I think, is really fun. It could even be like maybe a preteen if you wanted to pretend we have preteens. I don't know. Are you guys one of those people that want preteens in the game? Because I am, and I know I see every once in a while that people are like, it's pointless. But I, I don't understand that. I don't think it's pointless at all because now we have infants and we have toddlers. So an infant is maybe, what, six months old, something like that. A toddler could be one, two, three-ish around those ages. And then we have kids, which I think the kids in The Sims 4 may be like seven, eight, maybe up to nine. But I, they don't seem older than that to me. And so we have this huge gap because then the teenagers seem like they're like 16 to 18 years old. They look pretty much like they're adults because it's the same body. They're just like a little bit smaller. Hmm. I think that's too big of a gap. <laughs> and so I would like preteens and I would love all of the like decorations that come along with like that preteen age. I think we need like sims that are like 13 that would be that would be fun like 12 13 somewhere around there I don't know let me know if you guys agree maybe it would be pointless but 
I don't think so because every once in a while I decorate a room and I'm like, it's not really a kid's room. It's not really a teenager's room. It's somewhere in between and we got a pretty big gap there, I think. Um, but here I am fencing in the backyard, which I really liked. I thought this fence uh, looked like pretty nice with this house anyways. And then I did stone pathways all around. I think this stone pathway came with maybe it came with horse ranch i might be wrong about that but i think it did but i thought it looked really cool here because it matched the stone texture that i used for like the sidewalk area and so it's like similar in color but a different texture and not super similar but i, I don't know i liked it here i am putting a couple of cars in the driveway and then i put a couple of garbage cans out here i did forget a mailbox but when i go to take the screenshots or went to go take the screenshots i did place one um, and i just used the wall mounted one and i placed it on the wall by the front door and i think that came with snowy escape but it's really cool i like it you may see it in the screenshots i'm not sure if i got a good angle of it or not um, but if not, came a snow escape. <laughs> it's just a simple wall, uh, mailbox. But anyways, here I am finding the swing set. I decided to go with this one. I thought it looked pretty cool and kind of fun here in this particular build. I thought it worked really nicely. And then, um, yeah, I'm just kind of lining the fence with some hedges, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the landscaping. I didn't want to do like a bunch of flowers or, um, too crazy of landscaping, but it, I don't know I thought this tree back here actually looked really nice because it's you know not a green tree it's got like this red color and it's like a deep red color and you can see some in the surrounding areas because it is a tree that came with this expansion pack but I thought it looked so pretty right there especially when you're like at sims eye level in tab mode and like looking over the side of the house and you just like see it I don't know it creates a nice atmosphere in my opinion um, but over here is going to be the barbecue area so I placed this barbecue and I placed those planted pots but I ended up getting rid of them and placing something different and then I used this table that came with horse ranch this table in my opinion is so pretty and I was debating whether or not I wanted to use it outdoors but I decided it was fine and then I used these nice wicker chairs and then I used an umbrella that came with my wedding stories and yeah I thought this little outdoor dining area looked so nice and um, here I'm placing some wood and I'm just stacking it up next or on top of each other and that also came with my wedding stories and I really like that detail that's something that I don't always remember to add like when I have fireplaces it's somewhere for the sims to pretend store their wood um, I kind of forget about those objects but when I remember them I'm always like happy that I do um, but yeah there I swapped out the plant decoration for a different one and placed a rocking chair next to the doors as well I really liked using these more modern style doors they're actually greenhouse doors but I thought they looked really pretty here on the back of the build and I thought it would like let in more light to the house and add a little bit of like a modern touch but I didn't want the home to feel overly modern I mean some of the furniture is a little bit modern but it's I wanted it to feel a bit more traditional and a little bit more like an older home without being too either way, basically. Um, but here I'm adding some lights on the exterior. And yeah, I think these ones look really good. But as you can see, or maybe you didn't notice, but the wallpaper by the front door changed. And so now the wood beam is going like right down where the front door is rather than off to the side like it was originally oh it drove me crazy <laughs> um but here i decided to make a seating area i kind of struggled with what furniture i wanted to use and how i wanted it to be placed i placed these benches originally and i don't know i liked the colors of them but i think the style was just too south american to really fit into this build it just yeah, I don't know. It just didn't work for me. So I ended up swapping it out for the ones that came from Horse Ranch, which of course don't necessarily match the theme of Windenburg either. But for me, they fit in pretty nicely with this build. I think because of the windows I used and like the colors and stuff, it just matched a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I put a few decorations out around there and I really liked using this stump with the flower and the lantern on it. I thought that was so cute. Um, and then here I decided to add... Um, this nice little like I don't know you would call it the pitchfork and shovel display um, but here I'm swapping out the benches for this one I wish the, the pillows would have been a different color the blue didn't quite match I didn't think and like if they would have came in yellow that would have been perfect but yeah it still worked out pretty nicely um, I'm starting off by decorating the kitchen first and I started off by using these counters that came with cottage living but I ended up swapping them out for some that came from jungle adventure just because I felt like um, 
I don't know, basically the overhead cabinets from these cottage living ones drive me crazy because they have the curtains and the curtains are just too much in my opinion. I much prefer the overhead cabinets without curtains. Like at least the colors are okay. One of the packs that we got, I think it was one of the first kits. I forget the name of it. It was like the country, yeah, country kitchen kit. That one, it came with a really cute counter set, but just all of the curtains just drive me, it's too much, too much in my opinion. <laughs> um, but I think these ones still kept with like the look I was going for, but um, yeah, I was able to use overhead cabinets without having all of the curtains and it still matched and everything. So. Yeah, I think it looks really good in here. And then I used black appliances, which I thought was kind of fun. It kind of added a little bit to that modern look that I was talking about, but it still feels, I think, traditional in a way too. I don't know, you guys can let me know if you agree with that, but I think there's a balance. And then here I'm picking out some curtains. And yeah, these curtains I've been obsessed with. We got, we got them in the um, modern luxe kit that's the name of it so yeah i like these curtains i've kind of struggled sometimes with the curtain rod that matches it um but i think that's just a typical problem that we have with curtains in the game but um yeah i love them i've been using them a lot um here i'm adding some different decorations around trying to fill in the space and trying to of course make it feel fully decorated <laughs> like i said i think i added enough i definitely feel like a sim that lives here really enjoys cooking because i added quite a bit of clutter here in the kitchen and there's quite a bit of like books in the build and stuff like that but i really don't know what sims live here i didn't really think about their hobbies or careers i gave the kids a little bit of personality but as far as like the adult sims i don't really know what they do for work maybe one of them cooks because like i said there is quite a few decorations in here but i don't know kitchens are such a great spot even for modern homes to add personal detail and clutter and stuff and yeah i like kitchens to feel lived in and i really like that open cookbook i don't think i used it before when creating anything with the home chef kit Oh, but it, it looks good. I'm glad I used it in here. And then I'm using some of these lights and I thought that looked really nice as well. And then placing some rugs and I end up placing a high chair in the, um, in the kitchen too. I think once I decorate the toddler's room, but over here is going to be the dining room. And you guys probably already know, but I love these chairs. <laughs> these chairs are so pretty. I'm, I'm obsessed with them. I'm probably going to use them way more than I probably should, <laughs> but I really like them a lot. Um, but in here, I do keep it pretty simply decorated just because the dining table took up so much of the space, but I do add a bench underneath this window and I thought it would block the Sims from accessing the dining table, but thankfully it didn't. And I, I play tested it and my Sim was able to sit at all of the chairs, no problem. Cause I thought between the plants that I place over here and that bench, it was just gonna be too crowded, but it wasn't. Um, but in here I get a fireplace. I put up some artwork. I put a couple of plants and like a side table. I thought that this fireplace looked so cool in here. And I liked that it was off to the side cause I thought about making the dining table smaller and putting it along that wall. But I like that it's just off to the side, just kind of like, I don't, not central to the room, if that makes sense, but it's still there for like heating and stuff like that. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of a fun idea. And then here I'm adding that bench that I was talking about. So it's technically a table, but it's really a low table. So it looks like a bench to me. Um, but yeah, I was like almost positive the Sims weren't gonna be able to use that side of the table, but yeah, that was not the case. Um, here I'm adding some different wallpaper just adding in some color basically, just because I didn't want it all to be that same cream color. It just felt like it was a bit bland. I don't know, I needed something to just more pops of color. So I added some blue and yeah, I thought that looked nice. I think, well, blue and gray, this room's blue. And then here I'm adding a piano and I add, I think, a hutch or something and a chair just kind of I don't know it was one of those spaces where I'm like what am I gonna do with this room because it's not really big enough to be a living room it really wouldn't make too much sense just to have a big hallway with a side table and that's it so I felt like a music room kind of made sense it filled in the space I didn't want it to block this window but I didn't want to change the window I don't know I think it's okay it doesn't block it too much but it does block it a little bit and yeah I really like this hutch over here too the hutch came from cottage living I believe and then I put some baskets next to it and then I used this really pretty light I I'm sure I've seen that light before but when I placed it I hadn't remembered it I, like I don't remember using it previously I think it came with this not discover university what's the other school one 
or no, did it not come with that? Maybe it came with the family pack. I don't know. I'm forgetting the names of the packs at the moment, but I like it. I thought it was really cool in here. Um, but here is where I have the pop of yellow. So I placed this couch and I wasn't sure about it just because the patterns were a bit like a little bit funky. Uh, but I think it works. I don't know. And I liked bringing that yellow into the interior like I was talking about. So the yellow is very subtle. Like I could have probably found like a bunch of other yellow decorations, but I don't think it really would have worked. I think just having these yellow throws um, added that look that I was going for. Um, and then over here is the fireplace with a TV above it. And then I placed a decoration on the coffee table and then some bookcases. I'm really enjoying these modular bookcases. They add such like a nice like filler basically and they're nice and simple and since we have these darker swatches they don't look super modern even though they're pretty modern and then of course it like gives you another place to add clutter i didn't end up adding anything to those shelves but you could easily add something i don't know maybe a sim that lives here is like a professor or something maybe we have a professor and a chef I could see that. I could see this being a professor's home. <laughs> Let me know if you guys agree. But there I added some more yellow with those flowers and then the lamps that I ended up using were kind of yellow too. The one from Seasons that I use in pretty much every build, <laughs> but it's such a good one. And there I just sized up that rubber tree plant. Um, just because I felt like it looked a little bit small and needed to be slightly bigger. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it for the living room. It's simple and not cl like cluttered, but I really, I really liked it. I think it came together pretty nicely, but this is the small bathroom that I was talking about. So it's very simple, a toilet and a sink and a mirror. And I think maybe a piece of artwork or a hand towel. Yeah, not, not much, <laughs> but, um, it gets the job done and gives your sim somewhere to go to the bathroom downstairs rather than going all the way upstairs. I could have used this room, of course, but I think an office space is a much better use of the space. You could easily turn this into another bedroom, though, if you needed it. It could make like a nice, maybe a grandma's bedroom or something if you want to have like the grandparents move in or a spare bedroom if you want to have somebody come stay the night. But I don't know, I like having office spaces. Even though we have laptops in the game so Sims can just like sit at a dining table and use a computer, I still like having like a proper desk and everything. I think it's fun, so yeah, I don't know. Um, but here I added a couple more bookcases, a few decorations up on the desk, but again, not a lot of clutter. And then I also end up adding a Don't Wake the Llama table in here. It doesn't have the Don't Wake the Llama game on it. I think if you have it like this, you can click on it and play cards, but you could easily add the Don't Wake the Llama game if you wanted to. But I wanted to have another sort of game for The Sims to play, and I already had a chess table outside, so I didn't think another one was necessary, but I think uh, Don't Wake the Llama was a fun thing to add in here. You could also have like an art easel or I don't know, I'm sure there's another skill building activity. I don't know if you actually build skills from this. Maybe logic? I, I don't know actually, let me know because I'm not really sure. Um, but here I'm moving on to the second floor. So here at the like um, upper landing of the stairs, I add a side table with a couple of decorations on it and some artwork. And I think I add like a chair and a plant. I don't know, hallways are always kind of the same. I'm like, there's a, a plant, a chair, a side table, maybe a clock or something, <laughs> um, some artwork, and that's pretty much it. Um, there I did place a mirror on the wall, but I end up actually swapping that out for, I think, a different piece of artwork and then putting in the mirror in the bathroom because um, where I end up placing the sink in the bathroom, having the two mirrors like along the same wall just looked weird to me. Like, they, even though that's broken up by another wall with a door, it just was too much. Um, but this is going to be the shared bathroom for the kids. So since there's a toddler in the build, I knew I needed a bathtub. In this room, I, I could have made a bathtub work, but it just really, with the placement of the window and the shape of it and everything, it felt better to have a stand-up shower. And so I decided to put the bathtub in the parents' ensuite. And I liked this idea because I felt like it was pretty realistic because in our home currently, we have a downstairs bathroom that's just like a powder bathroom. And then we have two en suites. So we have an en suite off of our master bedroom and then we have an en suite off of my son's room. And his is just a shower and a sink and a toilet. So there's no bath in his room. So he has to come take a bath in our bathroom. <laughs> and so I thought that kind of made sense because I don't know, or at least was kind of realistic for this build and um, reminded me of my home and I have a toddler, so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, but this is going to be the toddler's room and for the toddler, I just used blue and browns and tried to make it look cute. I didn't really go with any particular theme, maybe like a nighttime theme because I used this little um, moon lamp and then I used a ram chair and some clouds. 
Um, but mostly I just tried to make the colors work together and match and I think it's so cute. Oh, and I really liked putting those towels next to the closet because I was imagining that they're at toddler level and I have a little toddler hook uh, similar to that in my son's room so he can take off like his coats or his hats and put them on when he wants to. I really wanna buy him some like other like maybe costumes or other things to play with because he's always wanting to put on like my t-shirts or my husband's t-shirts or our coats or you know mess with different pieces of clothing so I think it'd be fun to have some dress up clothes for him so I'll definitely have to maybe look into that for like Christmas or something. Um, but there I did add the high chair and then here I'm adding um, just a few things over here along this wall. Um, I thought that this actually looked pretty nice even though it's technically I think for a nursery it's a lot more babyish than it is toddler but I think it still worked in there and you're, you probably still have some baby stuff in your toddler's room. I know I still do. I have toys that he's very much grown out of and maybe I'll save them for my daughter. I don't know. Some of them are kind of broken and I just need to get rid of them. I need to do a massive toy clean out before Christmas and his birthday because my son's birthday is on the 20th of December and then Christmas of course is on the 25th. So it'll be a whole new batch of toys. <laughs> and so I need to, need to go through and throw away broken ones and donate ones that he doesn't play with that are still good. Um, but this is going to be the teen, preteenish room. So first I was going for just pink and I was like, I don't know, I, it's cute of course, but I felt like it was just a bit boring. I've done lots of pink and so I decided to do this more fun purple, blue, pink combination and made it a little bit more funkier and I definitely think it made it feel more preteen. It feels preteen in my opinion because it felt very just youthful and kind of childish without being like a little kid's room and then I thought about adding some art supplies but I ended up not keeping this stuff I don't know maybe I should have maybe I should have had this child be an artist but I decided not to but I mean that's an easy thing to change if you guys decided to download this build um, the build will be available on my patreon first so once you're hearing this voiceover on my channel it'll already be available for everybody but I do share my builds early on patreon you can download them early via tray files and then you can watch the videos early too so if you want to leave a comment and make sure I see it that's a way to do it or if you just want to support me um, I do have just a donation pledge as well so um, thought I would mention that in case you guys aren't aware but I really appreciate those of you guys who are already supporting me it's a it's awesome like it's amazing how generous people are and they're willing to do that. So, so cool. Um, but yeah, over here I used this um, pegboard or cork board. Um, it came with, what's that really fun kit where we got this chair and all of the cool patterns. It's the one that um, Plumbella helped with. I forget the name of it, but I thought that cork board looked so cool and um, so much more fun than the base game one. And then over here, I really wanted to use this hanging shelf because I like the style of it, but for some reason it has too much of a shadow. And so I ended up swapping it out for a different one. And then I used some basically move objects to place some other ones inside of it just to look like there's little cabinets because I wanted to add some like color over here and I didn't want it just to be a plain white shelf. And so I just added this one in here and I think it looks really good. And um, I was kind of struggling using the tool mod because I was clicking on both of them and I only needed to click on one of them since they were uh, connected. Basically, they're snapped together. So yeah, I, I eventually figured it out, but I thought those looked really good in here. And I think the clothes were so perfect for this style of room and everything. And yeah, I think this room was really fun. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree, but here I'm looking for some other wall decorations and artwork. This is something that I'm still kind of struggling with, even though we have so many packs now. I think we just need like a pure artwork kit. Just a lot of artwork, modern art, traditional art, youthful art, plain art, just a lot of art. <laughs> like I, I don't know, It's I feel like I always never have the right thing that I'm looking for. Like every once in a while something works perfect, but most of the time I'm kind of settling for something basically. Um, but yeah, here I'm just looking for the last few decorations to put here in this room. I thought about using some of those towels again, but the prints on them, there was ones with like dinosaurs and stuff, I think in every swatch. And I was like, I don't think really dinosaurs match this room, but I thought these little wall decals were super cute and matched the room perfectly. And then here I do hang up some little planters and they came in really fun colors that match the room as well. 
but over here is going to be the parents bedroom so the master suite ended up being really large <laughs> and like I knew it was a big broom but I didn't really realize how big it was until I placed the bed in there and I was like oh like maybe I could have made two rooms out of this space <laughs> I'm not sure but um, I, I still really like it in here I'm bringing some more of that yellow in with this bedding and I think the bedding looked really cute in here and then also this artwork had some yellow too and I never use this art piece just because I don't know I like something about it I find it hard to use in most builds but in here I think it worked and then I just sized up this cabinet dresser and then I put a tv here on top of another fireplace so there's three fireplaces in this build so I think it's super cozy because of that and then over here I placed a chair in the corner um, with I think like a lamp or something maybe behind it I think I placed a lamp over here oh another one of those little wall sconces I really like that lamp <laughs> like I'm sure I've used it I'm sure you guys may like remember a build I used it in but I don't remember using it previously um so yeah, I was excited about it. It felt like I found a new object. Um, but over here is going to be their ensuite bathroom. So like I was mentioning, there is the shower and tub combo in here so the toddler can take a bath, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I add a few different decorations around. Here I use the tool mod to rotate this lamp just because I wanted it to be in a different rotation. I felt like that would look better above the mirror. And then I add a couple of different clutter pieces on the counter. And I also end up adding a shelf above the toilet with some more clutter pieces just to make this bathroom feel like it's used a lot because I definitely think it is with the toddler and the parents using this room all the time. But this is pretty much it for the build. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots. Here I'm just going to add that shelf with the final few decorations like I was talking about. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Four feet on the strikes in the Alabama highway. Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping. I could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway. Took the seat next to mine like you've been there before. I'm different.